Hey, what's up, loves? This is Shayla's89, and we are here with Awanzi Entertainment. My friend nearly got his killed animation. Hi, my name is Adil, and this is a true story. The police have finished this case, and the man is in prison now. I was 14 at the time this took place. I was in a school and sitting in a history lesson that was so boring. My friend Noel, who was sitting opposite me, said I could come over on Saturday, as his parents were not going to be there because okay. they were going on a weekend away. Wait, how that there? meant we could stay up as long as we wanted. This was not uncommon, as we both invited each other to stay at one another's house, and I thought we were going to have a great time. Saturday came, and I was so ready. I packed my essentials, like my toothbrush, my new game, and my pepper spray. My parents always made me carry it, and I didn't mind because it made me feel safe, too. I went on my way, and 30 minutes later, after walking, arrived to Noel's house. As he opened the door, he looked a little tense and shifty. I walked in and locked the door after me, to which he became even more anxious. I asked him if everything was all right, and he said it was. No. Not trying to put a down on the evening, I asked him if we could play the new game I bought. He wasn't really interested, but said yes anyway. After 30 minutes of watching him not play... So, I'm just going to try to guess what's going on anyway. I'm going to guess before I actually know what's going on. Either he's not supposed to be over there, or there's somebody in the house, or somebody that's been around the house before he came. And he's getting really shifty because he looks real nervous real nervous so something going on that he ain't saying to his friend thing and just holding the controller in his hand i switched off the tv and asked him what was going on to which he replied i need your help i asked him what he needed my help for he told me that this man who added him on facebook was actually stalking him in real life See? and as to how he wanted to meet noel he warned him that if he told his parents, he would kill them. So, Noel being the stupid idiot, he told him to come at 8 p.m. 72 blah blah street. <laughs> five minutes from now. He was scared, so he asked me to come to this meeting to get rid of him. And that if he had told me at school, I never would have agreed to come. Right. He was right. I felt betrayed that he brought me here under false pretenses. I was also angry at his stupidity of him giving his address away as well. You should be. However, I had no time to argue. I was just glad he told me about this guy. I grabbed my pepper spray and just sat there on the couch. The doorbell rang at 8 p.m. I just sat there hoping he would leave after a little bit. However, then I started to hear scratching and realized he was breaking in with some sort of tool. I quickly ran into the kitchen with Noel and we heard the door lock get broken. Why'd you lose your bag? And someone kicked the door in. The lights were on and we were hiding behind the large fridge. The man in a deep voice shouted, Noel. Mm -hmm. We didn't reply. And then he shouted, Noel, where the heck are you? I'm going to kill you. I had a plan. At this point, I pushed Noel out from behind the fridge. That's fucked up. Oh, wait, my camera's dying. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's fucked up. Oh, come on, camera. That's a perfect screenshot. You should just leave it there. That's fucked up. Why would you just push your friend out like that? Then again, he did the, he did deceive you, but still. Noel started going back, and the man was walking forward, <laughs> chuckling. As soon as he came near the distance of the fridge, I shot out and sprayed pepper spray in his eyes. He nice. screamed in pain and then started swinging the screwdriver in his hand. 
I grabbed the screwdriver and picked up a pan laying there and hit yes. him on the head. Ooh. He blacked out. He was dressed in a smart suit and was clean shaven. We called the police and later found out that he was a man who was being monitored because there were several complaints of stalking and threatening behavior. They also found many tools in a bag he left near the door that would dismember a body. Oh, Thankfully, this sicko didn't kill anyone. However, I'm now happy that Noel called me because I dread to think what would have happened if I wasn't there. You should smack, you should give your friend a good punch in the face too because he shouldn't have, he shouldn't have did that in the first place. If that was my friend, he would have got a good, he or she would have got a good smack upside the head or we would just be fighting. Because who does that? Anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. Subscribe to Wandering Entertainment. They've been on it. I'll put the link in I will put the link of their channel in this video in the description below. Subscribe to me, subscribe to Wanzi. And I will see you guys later. Oh, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Wait, this sound like what 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 this sound